What is going on guys? Jacoby Kendrick here, the BJJ Realtor. Want to come at you with another video and I'm trying a couple of different things, things a little bit different here. I'm actually in my office instead of at my house in my studio and I'm trying the lapel mic here. So I uh, want to see how this audio sounds with that and then uh, how the video is here in my office. Now, if this is your first time checking me out, just wanna say thanks, thanks for popping up. If it is not, thanks for returning. Um, just wanna remind you to hit that subscribe button, that way if you're getting value from these videos, you can be notified every single time I put out uh, something new. Now, uh, I know you're probably seeing this little black thing on my ear here, this is actually a collie bud is what this is it is protection from cauliflower ear once you uh you know damage your ear or drain your ear you can use one of these to put some compression on it try to keep the swelling down keep the swelling out of there and that's what that is not talking about that on this video but maybe we'll talk about it on a future video but that does bring us to cauliflower ear now i do want to preface the video with that i am not a medical professional and this is not medical advice. This is just my experience and what I like to do or what I do whenever I encounter cauliflower ear. So take that for what it's worth. Um, and as most of you know, I've been doing jujitsu for about two years, two and a half years now. So um, take that for what it's worth. This is what I do. This is my experience with cauliflower ear. Now, why I want to do this video is I just recently drained my ear. I'm going to put a video on here as well of me and actually one of my training partners, one of my good buddies. He came by. This was last year and drained uh, my ear. It was actually a really small pocket that I had on my ear for that one. But this one that I just did recently, um, I mean, it was quite a bit. There was quite a bit of fluid in my ear. I'll pop up a little little uh, picture or a little... Uh, picture of how much fluid came out of the ear uh, on the video but it was quite a bit so I figured why not do a video everybody's most people get cauliflower ear and um, we can just talk about it a little bit so what is cauliflower ear well cauliflower ear if you're in jiu-jitsu obviously you've seen everybody's ears that is a practitioner of jiu-jitsu you know it's basically where your ear gets damaged it'll either get like hit on the side here or like smashed usually it come a lot of times comes from like a guillotine and like you get your head in a guillotine and then if you pull out a lot of times like when you're pulling out it's gonna pull your ear like this and your ear gets damaged and then what happens is there's like skin in there that skin comes apart and then it fills up with fluid inside of there and then you just from that time you have to get you have to take time off in order for that to heal if you don't obviously it's just going to keep filling up with fluid over and over and over again so what you can do is you can either let that fluid stay in there it gets hard and then it causes cauliflower ear so this i got a little bit on this ear as well it's not as bad but um you know once it gets in there it hardens and then there's really nothing you can do about it at that point so the best time to get it is when it actually happens uh, extract the fluid out and then do something like this with a collie bud or you can I used to I uh, actually bought those neodymium magnets before that are like they have different sizes and then I wrapped some like cushion around them and then put them actually on my ears which is basically what this is this is just magnets with silicone or something on them and it's been commercially wrapped or whatever and put on there same thing you can do it either way however you want to do it um, but yeah, that's basically what cauliflower ear is. Now, I usually get the time, I don't usually get cauliflower ear unless like we're doing a lot of nogi stuff. So we just got ready for American Nationals and getting ready for that. We were doing gi and nogi and I actually, it's getting hot in here. Um, and so we were doing a lot of no, gi and nogi and since that, uh, we were doing that, um, my ears get they get uh, damaged, you know, and so that's kind of what happened, what happened there. Now, so what do you do? How do you get rid of cauliflower ear? Or what do I do to get rid of cauliflower ear? Uh, basically, you have to go buy syringe, buy a needle. Now, that is the, that's one thing I want to talk about. Where do you get syringes? Where do you get needles? The only place that I could get, actually, there were two places in my hometown where I could get 
needles or syringes and that is at um, number one was Walmart apparently Walmart or sell them to anybody and then number two is um, was actually um, I can't if it was Walgreens or CVS now um, CVS CVS a lot of other places we have uh, some other local places here they will not sell you needles unless you actually have a prescription um, and so it might, you might have a hard time trying to find needles or syringes but definitely Walmart will uh, will sell them to you and they're super cheap I don't know if it was like five cents or ten cents super super cheap um, what type do you need to use I've used everything right so depending on like where it is and what you have normally for me I get like it gets hit right here and then this swells up so there's like a pretty big pocket there so I usually use a 20 to 23 gauge needle which isn't that isn't that big that's usually what I use so if it's like um, when it just happened and there's a lot of fluid in there I'll just use a 20 gauge needle um, I'm not I can't remember the actual length of it uh, the length of the needle not important and then usually the syringe is about I think it's three cc's is what it is three milliliters I believe um, and so you just get that you can have somebody else do it or do it yourself but yeah I actually have a training partner that uses an 18 gauge needle he's crazy that's like putting a straw in your ear basically is what that is but anyway so 20 to 23 is what I use that's what I like to use stick that in there and then uh, yeah just stick it in I normally stick it in in the side here or from the bottom that way they say gravity whenever you pull extract it out gravity will pull it out but the syringe has a suction on it either way and so you just stick that thing in there and then you can also like squeeze your ear to try to get the rest of it out of there and then just extract it out I'm pretty good with it now so I can actually uh, pull it out myself uh, sometimes I have to have my wife help me out a little bit uh, to make sure uh, I get all of it out but I mean that's pretty much all you have to do it's pretty simple pretty easy um, so you need to be able to you need to um, you need to identify the pocket in your ear depending on where it's at oh that was the other thing I was gonna say is I use the different size syringes depending on where this is at so if it's pretty big I'll use like the 20 gauge and then if it ends up if I have to keep practicing because it's gonna keep getting hit right it's gonna keep getting hit and then it's just gonna keep filling up with fluid and so if it's like a smaller pocket then I'll use like the 23 the bigger the gauge the smaller the needle so 18 would be bigger than a 23 and so you put that in there um, and then I also have used the diabetic needles so the uh, needles that you use that diabetics use for insulin and those are like really really small but sometimes I'll use those because like I'll get like a little bit or like a small bit of fluid like right here and you don't want to use like a huge needle for that or a big needle for that so it just depends on what it is uh, depending on which needle I'm gonna use but more often than not you like you do not want to be poking your ears a lot like that's just you have like a risk of infection then so make sure you've got alcohol make sure you've got gauze make sure you've got like I use um, I think my wife uses the little cotton pads to take off her makeup so I just use those put alcohol on it and then like rub it down Make sure I wash my hands as well and then uh, get the whole thing done and then that's it and uh, really the only way for it to heal is for you really to not train I mean you need like I think they say like somewhere from 7 to 14 days I think for it to to heal up and so but for some people that's just not an option so what I do is I have these little collie buds like I said suck it out throw the collie buds on and uh, wait for the next day the other thing you can do to prevent cauliflower ear right is you can wear a headgear recently had a training partner who tried to who tried to do that um, you're more likely to get tapped out with the headgear on because it's just like more friction trying to pull your head out and so it is what it is but uh, yeah so that is how you take care of cauliflower ear extract the fluid from cauliflower ear and uh, really doing jujitsu, wrestling, anything like that, it's just inevitable. 
hey, even though my professor, he's been doing jujitsu for over 30 years and his ears look like a newborn baby. How? I have no clue. Anyway, hope you guys are doing good. Talk to you on the next one. Back that way. This way? Yeah. See, I didn't know that. All right. Yeah. Don't flinch. Ugh. I'm in. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's gone down a bit already. Look at that hair, it's back to normal. It's doing it. Man, there's a lot of fluid in there, isn't there? Is that too much? What? Well, you, you're not asking me, are you? Ugh. See? I tried to massage it and push it out. 